Yo, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Yesterday, I made my basics guide on the ancient hunt, so you guys know exactly what you need to do in order to get your hands on the very best gear in the game, which is the Gilded Gear. You can find common, rare and unique variants of Gilded Gear, but they will always have extra enchantments in there, which will make them very awesome. Now, of course, the big question is what is the most efficient way to farm for these gilded items? Well, guys, today I will show you exactly what you need to do in order to get your hands on that perfect item you want to farm for so you don't have to desperately combine these runes in order to finally find the combination which might get you some very nice loot. If you want, you can find those gilded fighters bindings today, so let's get right to it. Alright, so guys, here we are inside the cave below our camp, right next to the Pigling Merchant and also the Ancient Hunt portal. These are two ways to get your hands on very awesome gilded items, but right now the big question is which one of these two options is the very best one to focus on, because in both you will of course lose many things. The Pigling Merchant will take away all your gold bars, I currently have 1004, but as you can see it will cost you quite some gold bars as well to get your hands on one of these gilded items. While on the other hand, well, on the other hand, we also have the Ancient Hunt portal. And right here, we can make sacrifices. We can put in items to combine a set of runes. And this will, of course, also lure in ancient mobs. These will all have their own set of loot, their own loot tables, pretty much, which will drop gilded items. But at the same time, it will cost you many items. You will have to sacrifice a great deal of enchantment points as well to make the odds in your favor. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the Minecraft Dungeons Hunt spreadsheet. A big thanks to Rainbino99 for making this one a moderator of the official Minecraft Dungeons Discord. And of course also to Birdie and Lord Force because they provided us with the most information you will be able to find on this sheet. So right here we have an overview where you can select a certain amount of items. For example, we sacrifice the battle staff. This will uh, give exactly this rune. And then you also have, for example, the corrupted seeds. It will give you this soon. And then you will get a result. Right now they are currently working on this. So guys, please make yourself aware that this document is a work in progress. This means that the information may be incomplete, disputed or still presented in an unfriendly manner. I think it already looks really nice. Changes are made without notice as well. So yes, they definitely deserve a lot of credit for this one. Of course, I will leave it in the description so you will be able to find it right there. So um, they are still working on this sheet. So guys, once again, if something is not working 100%, it might be because of this uh, incorrect data. But I think most of the information is already accurate. And yeah, you can just search up any item you like. You will see exactly which runes you're going to need. Right here, you see also the ancient mobs name then also the other things. But um, the mobs with the loot there is so much information right here so yes if you're gonna go ancient hunting if you want to get your hands on a set of fighters bindings or whatever definitely make sure to check out this sheet once again it is in the description so you'll be able to find it right there and you can easily start hunting for the exact item you want to go for so say we want to get our hands on a fighter's bindings of course this is the gauntlets family of items so we're just going to control f and type in gauntlets this will bring up a result right here. So that means we're going to have to deal with the Mushroom Ancient in order to get our hands on these items. The equipment drop pool is going to be the Katana, the Ghost Armor, the Dual Crossbows and also the Gauntlets. So that means we're going to have to fight a Mushroom Ancient to get our hands on a Fighter's Bindings. But of course it shares its loot table with all these items so you won't have a 100% drop chance. So when we have a look at the Rune Hunt tab right here you can see the Mushroom Ancient. So we're going to need one of these blue runes, also one of these tridents, one of this uh, blue Y, and then also one N. So let's combine this in our game. At first glance, it looks like I don't even have any item with this Y icon. So of course, we can always buy one at the camp. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right here at the village merchant. So one of these items might be able to provide me with the perfect rune. So let's check out the spreadsheet once again. So we, we go to melee and we check out this uh, Wyatt right here. The rapier will also have this rune, which is the only one right here, as well as uh, the freezing foil. So that is a pretty rare rune to get your hands on as it will only drop on daily trials. 
There is also not a single ranged weapon which will allow us to get our hands on this rune. So let's check out the armor. For that, we're going to need the beehive armor, the bee nest armor, and also the mystery armor. So that is cool, guys. I will get my hands on one of those in the shop. Wow, I have extreme bad luck right here. Maybe this guy will sell some. There we go, a mystery armor. We're gonna have to buy this one for 1,000, but all for the video, guys. Power level 171. So when we sacrifice this, we will be able to get a ancient hunt with fighter's bindings ready. So this is already our first sacrifice right now. We need this uh, trident icon. So let's search for that. So the Weeping Vine Bow would be an option because it has this Trident icon as well as the L, but we could also just go for the Twisting Vine Bow because it only has this Trident or even the bow. This is the best case because it's only a common weapon. And our final sacrifice would be this L icon, but hey, this isn't corresponding. I mean, there aren't any ancient mobs responding to these offerings. So once again, guys, the Trident, the N, the Y and the L, if we look at the sheet, Mushroom Ancient, it definitely says the L, the Trident, the Y, and the N. So there is some information not 100% accurate right here, so definitely keep that in mind. I think I already found the solution. So we're gonna get rid of the bow, and instead we're gonna sacrifice a Fighter's Bindings. And this would add up four of these items in total. This also unlocks a new Ancient mob for me. So guys, let's check out this Ancient hut. It will definitely always be this guy. It also makes sense because this is already a Fighter's Bindings, and right here we have four runes in total, which are almost the same. So um, I'm actually gonna crank this to the maximum. My recommended power level is also 11, but I'm just going to put it one lower just to make sure that we will be able to survive this because guys, seriously, you don't want to die after sacrificing all those items. And if you are on a very high power level, if you already have confidence that you will be able to take it down, make sure to crank it as high as possible because this will also determine the final enchantment which you will get your hands on the Gilded Enchantments tier. So if you're on the final level, thank you Lord Force by the way for sharing this information with us, you will get a higher tier level enchantment. So right now we're going to confirm the difficulty and we're going to start the Ancient Hunt. All right, so here we are. I just swapped my artifacts because they weren't very interesting for the Ancient Hunts. I actually lost my Ironhide Amulet, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. So thank God we actually cranked down the difficulty a little bit. All right, here is our very first entrance. And this definitely looks like a mushroom biome, guys. So we are in business. Let's click the button. So we spawn again right there. There we go. Took him down in one shot. Look at that, a regular gauntlet's dropped, so that means we will be able to find a Fighter's Bindings if we are a little bit lucky. So let's check out the enchantments on this bad boy. So this one has Fire's Lightning Bolts, which is pretty much the Thundering enchantment, also a Radiance, Sharpness, and Committed, so already a pretty interesting set of enchantments. All right, we have another room, and yes, once again, a Mushroom Monstrosity area. So here we go, guys. We click the button and we snipe this guy. Bam, there we go. And we just got our hands on some Maulers. So that means no Fighter's Bindings, but the other unique type, which is already a really awesome find on our very first run. Look at that, guys. Unique Maulers. Relentless combo, increased attack speed, lost attack, deals area damage. So this one also has a built-in swirling, shockwave, exploding. Yes, guys, this looks like a very cool one, but unfortunately, no heals on it. Oh, wow, man. This is ultra savage. We're currently stunning this creeper so the ocelots can't take it down. Very nice teamwork. Thank you, Ocelot, once again. All right, so guess that's it for the Ancient Hunt. Which we actually got our hands on a Gauntlet's Family item two times in a row. So that is already pretty lucky. But of course, it's just going to be a matter of time before we get our hands on the Fighter's Bindings. 10 gold bars, here we go. So yes, of course, right now the Piglin Merchant refreshes and wow, we just got our hands on two times a reinforced mill. But guys, since I already have quite some money saved up, I'm just going to do one restock right here. And wow, seriously, we just got our hands on some really bad loot. Oh man, just for the sake of this video, I am burning all my gold right here. But um, yes, I'm just going to stop with it right now. Look at that. We dropped to 750. So guys, don't try this at home, literally. So right now, of course, the big question is, what should you do, Ancient Hands or the Piglin Merchant? 
Well, I have to be honest guys, since we already got our hands on all the loot tables right here, you can pretty much find exactly what you need. So I think the ancient hunts are definitely the way to go. Of course, you will find gold on the way, so you can spend that at the Piglin Merchant. When they finally have something interesting, I just got my hands on two times a Gauntlets family. First the Gauntlets itself, and then also the Maulers. And when we have a look at the sheet, once again, that pretty much means the Katana, the Ghost Armor, and the dual crossbows also had a chance to drop. So we had two times a 25% chance to see a gauntlet drop and we actually got one unique out of it once. So that is already very lucky. So yeah, a quick summary. You should always run these ancient hunts for gold. So while not search for your favorite item while you're at it. Seriously, it will just be a matter of time before you find it, but also Take note of the difficulty. So uh, when we just sacrifice a couple ones right here, we press confirm and then our difficulty. So if you go to difficulty 25, that will also mean you will always get a tier three gilded enchantment. With a gilded enchantment, I'm talking about this one right here. Lost attack deals area damage. Right now it's just tier one because we're currently on apocalypse level 10 or 11. So make sure to first farm up all the way to apocalypse level seven plus 25 before you start hunting for the perfect gilded item. Of course, if you find something really awesome like this lightning harp crossbow with uh, the growing and the multi-shot or dynamo, well, you can of course already play and tweak a little bit around with this one, but um, the very best items will always be found at the highest apocalypse plus. Guys, a big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And of course, if you enjoy my content in general, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free. Many more Minecraft Dungeons videos are coming your way, of course. I post videos almost on the daily. So guys, definitely stay tuned. Right now, it is Forium out. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. Already a big thanks to every single one of you guys for being part of this awesome Minecraft Dungeons community. And of course, a special thanks to my members. If you're interested in becoming a member to the channel, contribute a little bit and get your hands on some very awesome exclusive perks, you should definitely check out the join button next to subscribe. So right now, the last thing I can say to you guys is a good luck hunting for your favorite gilded item. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Peace.